Well, talk about some bad timing, mm -hmm. right? SpaceX's latest launch in early February coincided with a solar storm, and now up to 40 of those 49 satellites will be lost. Yeah, but what exactly is a solar storm, and how do they impact us? CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Melissa Lefevre is getting answers. When these eruptions occur, they will send a blast of, of uh, plasma gas from the sun and magnetic field. Just like we have different types of weather on Earth, there are different types of weather in space. But local radar won't help. That's where Bill Murtaugh and the Space Weather Prediction Center come in. Well, the sun shoots a magnet out into space and sometimes right towards Earth. When it hits Earth's magnetic field, we have two magnets coming together. There's going to be reaction. That's what we describe, how we describe a geomagnetic storm. Murtaugh says the geomagnetic storm that impacted the SpaceX launch was moderate, a level two storm on a scale of one to five. This geomagnetic storm didn't impact the satellites already in place, but it did heat up the upper atmosphere that the new satellites would be traveling through. The expansion of the atmosphere increased the drag on the satellites. But this particularly launch, because it was the launch phase, they let them loose at around 210 kilometers, and then they begin this process to get up a couple of hundred kilometers higher. Well, that that location, a couple of hundred kilometers, that's where the density was pretty bad and they just couldn't escape to get up there and we lost, they lost 40 of the 49 satellites. So it was all to do with the density of the environment right when those spacecraft, when they're released. Major geomagnetic storms can cause major disruptions to our technology, including the power grid. The electric power grid across this country has some vulnerability and we're doing a lot working very closely with power grid owners and operators to get the procedures in place to, to protect those assets and keep the lights on. Just like we have historic weather events, there have been big solar events through time. We typically see one to two per 11 year solar cycle, and we're approaching our next solar maximum now, which is expected in 2025. So expect to hear more from us with the increased activity likely in the next three, four, five years. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Melissa Lefevre.